it's Crazy Fangirl Show. I'm here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, uh, I am back from the wedding. Um, it wasn't as hectic as a normal wedding because there was no reception, but I had gone to spend time with my sister. But I thought I would stay in sort of my fancy wear since we are reacting to the rest of the episodes of The Legend of Vox Machina. Um, sort of inspired by the feast that happened last episode, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get up and dress fancy and stay in all this wear because... I never dress up a lot, so you know what? Here I am, looking lovely. <laughs> um, this look, usually for weddings I try and go for a look, so the theme that, uh, I make up the themes in my head because just I like making a theme and then looking for a dress that sort of suits it. So for a previous cousin's wedding, I did like a, a beautiful green dress that was sort of inspired by um, Princess, Princess um, Tiana from Princess and the Frog um, and I just loved that dress and I inspired all my makeup and stuff off of that and then for this one it was a mixture so it was a mixture of like and this was last year this is um, Enola Holmes inspired and this is very funny because yesterday a small teaser of Enola came out and I was like oh my god this is just too good to be true um, and so it was inspired by the Enola Holmes like film and sort of like the 1800s sort of vibe plus um, The Witcher, just because of the colours and even just, like, the hairstyles and stuff. I love all that sort of, like, vibe. So, yeah, today, this is my look, um, so I hope you guys like it. And also, I just want to shout out to my mum. My mum did my hair today, and just look at this gorgeous, the back of my head. Um, this is after everything, like, before that, in the morning. Uh, actually, there are a few photos I can show, like, here. She did my hair so beautifully, and made me look like a princess so thank you to mama for that and she put like she bought me this beautiful comb oh i feel a little bit spoiled because i feel like an actual princess today but anyway let's stop enough of that um but anyway i've got a ring light finally um but it's a little bit hard to sort of like position at the moment because i've got like my desk and stuff so maybe i can sort of shift things around eventually but yeah Anyway, we're going to jump into the next episode of The Legend of Vox Machina, um, and it is called... Shadows um, at the Gates. Mmm, so it looks spicy. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I will see that they are properly punished. Yeah, isn't he still, like, under the influence of Silas? Your fate will be determined once we hear the Briarwood side of the story. Oh, no. And then Silas is just gonna be, like... Silas is just gonna, like, take advantage of it. Oh! Speaking of him. But that tome contains details of our... It will avail them of nothing. Besides... Oh, my God. the means of retrieving it, don't we? They're such a handsome couple. Like, what the heck? And, like... I'm just, I'm just gonna say, Silas is literally fitting, like, all the, like, hot boy statuses right now, and everyone was calling him, like, Zaddy and all that stuff. I ain't ashamed. I am so, like, full-on, like, in love with Silas, so, like, and there's multiple people who I'm gonna have the hots for, so, you know, just get ready for that. <laughs> so what does it say? Oh, uh, it says Pyramid, Spirits of the Dead, and right here in tiny letters it says, uh, Fuck you, Vax. Mm -hmm. You gotta translate this. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Can yeah. you just stop? Ooh. Bless her. I was using that. Not even children. Aww. They stop seizing my ancestral home. Even our tutor. The man my parents entrusted with our safekeeping. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Massive. Vasapho. Raise the undead? What the frick? 
like a turd. I love his storyline, so I cannot wait. And for the record, I think you're damn worthy. But there's a world oh. difference between you and That's my favorite line. Oh, trinket. He was the first boy in the fence out here. Oh! Oh my god. Holy magic or radiant damage. <laughs> oh, oh god! Oh my god! Ah, this literally does have everything, including horror. Oh. Krug! Come on, Pikey! Oh, come on, steal it! Oh, yes, Queen! Oh, oh my god, this is brilliant. Oh my god! Yes, Grog! <laughs> oh my god, Percy just going ham at it in the corner! You intend to stop those that did this to my men. You have my word. Holy shit, dude. Damn, dude, so good. So good! Oh, Pike. I'm not going. Damn, they're actually doing that. What if I beat you? Oh, these two. I love them. Even if I'm not around. Oh, my heart. Very nice. What a freaking episode, dude. That was terrifying like what the heck they have no right to do that to me i was like oh yeah it's gonna be the undead but fucking hell dude that was terrifying as the undead did not expect that at all but beautifully executed um so like i think the the beginning was a little bit slow but other than that it was great like the build-up intention was great i love the character moments we got we got a lot of sort of like different moments between the different characters so like obviously Percy and Keyleth then we got the twins like obviously both like sort of on their own but Scanlan just doing his own thing so it was nice to sort of see them interact also with Pike and Grog because obviously those who don't know that they're very close they get to obviously instantly can tell that there's a connection between those two and then just the the oh dude the action sequences in this just blow my mind away and horrifying those like <laughs> ghost wraith things whatever it was bleh, like gross like so good but great like and oh that image of Keyleth like on the wall just like bleh, it's some conjuring shit right there <laughs> but yeah that was great but also <laughs> um but yeah such a great episode so good and still sort of building off of the tension that we got from the last episode so that was brilliant and yeah so good so we're gonna jump right into the fifth episode because as usual we're just gonna keep going with these um i'll have more to say obviously in that and obviously the last episode that we'll go through so thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy mango out Woo!